Where are we? We're in the afternoon. Hi everyone. It's Daddy from Board Game Geeks here. Completely lost track of time of what time of day it is. Um, this just arrived. It's from Law Smith. They had a Kickstarter uh, last year. Um, it was to back the Dex cards. Uh, back to the point where I got all this. So I'm going to take you through it. Go check them out. Um, I'll post the link below. <laughs> Excuse me. They've got a lot of options for DMs and players out there. Uh, predominantly accessories, ideas. Um, we've got inns here. Uh, there's shops. They've got uh, story settings, campaign settings, uh, one-off quests, quests for various levels. Um, I'll show you what... Well, I've, well, I've backed it, so this will give you an idea of what they actually provide. Let's go with the dice. So, we've got shiny orange bag. Shiny orange dice. Right, you're all my witnesses. Because every time I get dice, you've got to roll them. <laughs> to see how much they love or hate you. Hi, dice. Oh, you're orange and we like orange. Okay, not bad, not bad. D20 is not bad, D6 is good, D10 is good. That's percentage, not good. Average, good. Meh. Second row, fun. You failed me, still love you. Any road, let's put that away. The dice, like, do the usual seven, and the bag itself is massive. So I'm thinking I might put a lot of stuff in there. So, start with Remarkable Inns. Let's move this away. Oh, don't just roll for hits. Forge Myths. Remarkable inns and their drinks. Oh, it comes drinks as well. Bringing your inns to life. I'm already loving the artwork. White Woods Inn. Well, five star prices for. Security, solid, authority, mediocre rooms. They have 10, 10 normal, three luxury suites. They have stables, lodgings, common repairs, hunting excursions, hunt masters, rangers, mountaineers, disposition, orcs are mild. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm more interested in... The drinks, to be honest. What do you... Who? Hey, hey. Here we go. Are they going... <laughs> marriages going on. Secret marriages. The Whitewood Wine. Okay. Gives you a special effect. It is, what is it? Frost grapes, juniper berries, and whitewood seed oil aged in whitewood casks. Produces this blood red wine. Lush sweet, lush sweet acidity. Goes out smooth with a refreshing finish. Okay. Special effects. When you consume white wood wine, you gain resistance to cold damage for 1d4 hours. You must succeed on a DC 12 constitution saving throw. I have disadvantage on charisma checks for the same duration. You also become... Likely to attract owl bears while under the effect of the beverage. Every hour, any owl, owl bear will marry us around. You can make a DC 15 perception check to, check to pick up your scent and be drawn to you. Ooh, that's quite good. How much is that? Two silver pieces of glass, five silver pieces of bottle. That's not bad. Uh, Wolf Howl Ale. It's hoppy ale spiced with cinnamon, apple, uh, 
has a refreshing sharp taste, warming finish. True Brew Crafts Crafters Ale. Uh, doesn't give you any effect. It's just an ale. Oh, Phelan's finest. What's this one? A mixture of citrus and melon spirits, enhanced with ginger root, tart berries. This drink has a fresh flavour. That mixture of cares melt away. It should be like Fraggle Rock. Special effect when you drink a glass of Phelan's finest, you must make a cook. DC costs you save and throw on a failed save, you take minus two penalty, charisma, and, and intelligence checks. So the next one, D2 hours. That's not a good thing. Grilled owl steak. So, special effect eating owl steak gives you the feeling of strength and vigor. You gain a plus two bonus to your strength score for 1d4 plus one hours. That's pretty damn good, especially if you drink that accommodated with the wine. I'll be looking for you. Let's get in a fight. Uh, so far, that's one location, but I'm quite liking it. Not all the ales and wines do stuff. They've got rumours and secrets going on at the places that you see and visit. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of cottages actually. It's every so that goes there, then we're on the next page. So every every two pages there's some there's a new a new tavern to look at. These gives effects as well. Uh, yeah, white stag, white stag venison roast. Special effect after eating the roast, you advantage on constitution checks, and your constitution saving throws for the next one hour. That's really good. Somebody's really, really, really good. But bread lets you lose a level of exhaustion. Uh. Oh, that one gives you a mix up the top. Uh, Silverberry Brandy. Uh, gives you disadvantage on your dexterity and constitution checks. And you gain resistance to bludgeoning, and bludgeoning, bleh, bludgeoning damage for 1d4 hours. But you also regain 1d4 plus 2 hit points. That's really good. Especially if you just stop it off to eat. Loads. Right, let's pick one up around. One more, one more. Don't want to spoil. I want to read these and maybe incorporate some into my campaign. That's still way in. This is the North Call Inn. Uh, here, the wealth is one star. The prices are one star. Security, two. Authority, one. Has ten rooms. Uh, it's got lodging, gemstones, and fishing expeditions. Um. Has no disposition. Everyone's welcome. Here we go. Hagshot. Hagshot inspires a short lived, reckless feeling of bravery and confidence. Whenever you make an ability check after drinking, roll a d4 for every pie you had in the last 30 minutes. Add the number to. And add the number rolled on each dice to your ability check. If you roll a one on any of these dice, you instantly fail the ability check in a ridiculous, clumsy way. Wow, okay. Passing is good, one is not. I like that one. <sighs> Solster's Fishing Stew. For 1d4, after eating Solster's Fishing Stew, you have advantage of Constitution saving throws. So that's the end. Like I didn't go into the the rumors that they had or anything in the area that they had to them. That was just what they're selling, what the effects do. It's a really good idea to have. I've got a few already set up in my session. Which um, there's one one in. Uh, where once and once only, if you roll 
uh, five percent or lower, you or you get a permanent D4 added to your hit dice because of the way the pin is set up. I can't remember what I called it, but I'll try to remember. Law Smith, you've done me well. You've done me proud here, Law Smith. I'm liking what you got. Here we go. Thunderstone. Oh, sorry. If if it actually read, not jumped the gun. Thunderspire Forge. Well, four prices for security to the max. It is a maximum. Well, no fears here. Uh, lightning powered weapons and armor, combat training, all the services it provides are combat training, repairs, enchanting, smithing, disposition, elves, sorcerers. Sorcerers are unwelcome. And we don't really like elves. Okay. Favored dwarves, giants, fighters, and barbarians. So we're on the fence with everyone else, but if you're a dwarf, giant, a fighter, or a barbarian, you gain a bit of a boost. Goes into the staff. Ooh, magic items. Exclusive items. Oh, these are the best. Thundermall. Any weapon that deals bludgeoning damage can be forged into magical forged of magical steel in Thunderspire, which causes it to deal an extra 2d6 damage on a hit. When these weapons hit the foes, they emit a boom and crash under additional effects can be added to these weapons, such as ability to knock creatures prone with powerful swings or deafen enemies with thunderclaps. It's rare, that one. 2,500. Uh, lightning blade, any weapon that deals slashing damage can be forged into a magic steel in Thunderspire, which causes 2d6 lightning damage on a hit. Uh, the weapons crackle with white or blue energy. Uh, additional effects can be added. Uh, uh, to emit uh, auras of bright light or stunning enemy with static jolts. There's quite a few good items on these. Bold lightning. Uh, 100 gold pieces, uh, 100 foot, 5 foot wide. Each creature in the area must succeed on DC 15 dexterity saving throw or take 2d10 lightning damage. Excellent card. Not bad at all. Doesn't say for half though. Uh, use all these places of rooms and secrets. Right, it's none of the good ones at the front. Let's go for some random. Bringing your shops to life. Oh, it gives you on the breakdown page. Okay. So, it tells you uh, the breakdown. It's squalid, common, respectful, prosperous, or mythical. Look, look, look at the shopkeeper there. Uh, poor establishment, fakes and forgeries tend to be a problem. Gives you a d20 roll for each store. Uh, forest levels are the local influence on the area. Disposition. Security or higher. Okay. I'll give you a breakdown as to uh, your weapons must remain sheathed. If they do not, you will be kicked out of the store. Release your weapons and then admit it to, to the shop. If you're suspicious, you will be kicked out. Uh, so they're, they're actually, I thought a lot about these. I'm, I'm 
Might as well go and make my own shop. Special services, peculiar potions. What are these do? Uh, potion of blinking for the you When you drink this potion, you can teleport short distances once every few seconds. This does not increase your speed, but allows you to dodge incoming attacks and move through barriers. Potion lasts one hour, so I take it. You can teleport short distances once every few seconds. So is it limited to your move distance? I take it. It incorporates it, but you instantly travel. I probably house rule that as. I, yeah, well, yeah, I'll slide this over so you can see what I'm looking at. Potion of the warmth, potion of the storm. Oh, yes, melts. <laughs> Apple of the camel, donkey, boring. What have we got? Come on. Triceratops, Direwolf. What's the most expensive? An Aboleth of 5,000 gold pieces is the most. Is the, is the top one that you can see. That's, that's pretty damn good. Oh, you can get a nightmare. How long is this for? Is this to buy? So you do uh, exact amounts. It's going to put some time to come with advantages. Um, I'm going to have to read that properly. See if that is a one-shot price and then it's yours. Deal with it. Millions and pets. If you want to change, okay, that's fine. Walk. Oh, it gives you arms. Uh, arms and outfits. Dragon bone boots. In order to wear these boots, you must have killed the dragon and harvested its bones. While wearing the boots, your speed increases and you can fly in short bursts. Boots are sabatons made of bone, engraved with draconic ruins. Very strong structure. Um, I'm actually liking the look of this. Not spending too much time looking at the books, right? Ugh. So I've got those two. Um, I've got The Claws of Madness, one of their adventure books. Uh, I don't really want to show you the world, what it does, but it's laid out as P. As per most adventures. Uh, same with Whispers of the Void. Uh, this is for fourth level and higher. Uh, this is. Wow. Look at this art styles. Far touched. Well, can't show you that. It's a bit of a sassy uh, drawing, that one. Okay, I have to read these two. Oh, two adventures, uh, I can do one shots for uh, people who want to do a one shot little mission. Um, that should be fairly straightforward. Right, here comes the stuff which is going to be added. I've left them there and I've left them there for no apparent reason. So these are the quests that you can come across on the billboards from Dice Dungeons. Lawsmith, so you may, I backed. I backed, I think I backed this one, and then for this one was this one, and then back this one, <laughs> and the Dice Dungeons finished before this one, and I was like, oh no, and then 
Lawsmith finished and I was just like, well, I've backed it now, so <sighs> whatever. So, what I intend to do with these is. Let's go that bit that. So these are challenges issued to the player issued to the players. Oh <laughs> there's a code there. Challenge number one knock out or kill an enemy barehanded. I think we're gonna complete both of these. Challenge one, challenge two, challenge three, all the different challenges. So when we uh, go live, uh, the challenges are going to be issued and given out. Uh, let each player draw one challenge card at the start of each session, also that you can draw one. Then I group or use homebrew rules. Uh, the player chooses when to role play one or more challenges during the current or another session. Each card provides several color coded options to choose from, so there's always something that fits your character. When a player has accomplished a challenge, uh, she the game must know, must agrees. Player gets to pick a reward card, claim its spoils. Okay, so we've got challenges here. Wield or craft an improvised weapon. So that one's difficult ish. Eh, maybe. Escape or cheat death using magic or wisdom. Honor or analyze humanoid remains. Uh, disguise or transform yourself to go unseen. Deceive or entertain. Escape someone's trust. Defend or create permanent sanctuary. Escape or utilize a magical location. Ooh. Conceal or discover a secret passage. Surprise or warn a non-combatant. A smart or outrun an aggressive beast. Burrow or swim to escape or win a fight. That one's going to be difficult. Threaten or trick or throw using violence or illusion. Protect or betray a helpless individual. I like the betrayal one. That would be a, that'd be interesting to uh, role play. Trade with or defend a community in need. Ambush or infiltrate an enemy encampment. Uh, enact or prevent an eldritch ritual. Heal or shelter an enemy or ally in need. Right, I don't want to read them all, so let's get to here. Open a trap, lock or chest. Steal or return the treasure of an NPC or monster. Um, use performance or speech to get something for free. Why not? Work together to create a distraction or disguise. Use a familiar ally to scout or fight, or use flight or elevated senses to evade combat. Uh, use fire or smoke to win or escape a conflict. Cleave through multiple foes or objects with a single attack. Hmm. Uh, decipher a complex riddle or puzzle. So I've got puzzles in my game now. Help an NPC or community achieve peace or freedom. So my plan with these was to get, or well, still is, is to get yourselves as participants in the chat involved. Um, so, oh, you son of a bitch. Comes up in my hand, man. Ooh.
right. I must be one or the other. Roll twice, choose the best results for your attack or evasion. Your legendary deeds are remembered in a song, tale, or plaque. You become famous or feared. You receive a potion of healing or resistance. Uh, you receive a box of random treasure item. Reroll a failed dexterity or listening check. I'm going to go one or the other on this and same with this because then it gives you 100 challenges and 100 re that rewards um and it says like according to the card it says give one to each player so I might let the chat room decide as to who gets that. Uh, become a member of the local council or crime syndicate. That's really good. Uh, attack is a automatic hit or deals maximum damage. Holy moly. Maximum damage could be crazy. Especially in 5th edition. So you either get automatic hit, which you deal damage, which is great, or deal maximum damage on a roll. And if you aim if you roll a critical on that one, then that's a lot of damage coming in if you're a paladin, let's say. Excuse me. Right. Ah, uh, you obtain a rough scroll of detect lies or modify memory. Oh, cough. <laughs> modify memory is broke as hell. It's a brilliant spell, though. You need a new language or powerful song. I think a new language is actually could be really could be benefit, more beneficial than a uh, powerful song to do. And uh, depends if you're a bard or not. If you're a bard, then I'd play it some way. There's a house rule. There's a house rule somewhere in there. So we are looking at the uh, Wilderland Voyage. Uh, speak to me, Chief. There you go. This video is going on for a bit. I'll try and wrap it up. Excuse me while I try and get my face to the scratcher. Oh, lost it. I don't know what to do. Get off me. He's rapping, man. He's got. My notes, my notes, my lovely, lovely notes. I'm upside down. <laughs> I was going off the front of that one. Using this draw cards and match entries from the top and bottom. Feel free to mix and match the order. The results can be mundane, cryptic, ridiculous, or even new requests, a new quest hook. What? Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I love it. I love it. Is there a way of um, people on Twitch to be able to roll dice to get involved in this? Can I set that up? Question to you viewers. I need to know. So partially buried barbed tree roots. Rain soaked roadside 
tombstone. Not getting this. This is just to give them ideas of what they're looking for. Dried queens. Alignment shifting crown. Draw cards and match entries from the top and the bottom. So, draw. Bright glowing. How am I doing that? Bright glowing bone walking stick. Hauntingly seductive silver elven brooch. Confession evoking grappling hook. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ghostly Wailing Hunter's Whistle. Oh, that's even, that's glorious, that one. Ghostly Wailing Hunter's Whistle. Then we got uh, Severely Yellowed Star Sign Omens, Vine Entangled Restless Dried Spirit, Dented and Scratched Piece of Amber, Ornate Rose Motif, Will of the Wisp. I get you now. I get you. That's actually, uh, that's pretty good though. I might, uh, I wanna have a look at, there's loads, there's, I've got loads of decks to cover in this. I need to do the same, they're the, they're the same kind of approach. Leave them out because I'm gonna take the deck. This the same, that's the same. That's the uh, fumbled searches. So you find random stuff, bent and scratched copper ring, find stuff of nope, that's curious treasures that you find along the way. There we go, more challenges. This is probably one of them. This one covers uh, power and prowess. And if one is vice and virtue. If I can get this open again. So let's go for a random couple. Increase an ally's morale or strength. Use magic to restore or destroy an item or person. Okay. Uh, use, use the remains of the fallen to hide or deceive. Bury or honor a, fall, a fallen warrior. <laughs> TPK. What rewards have we got? Double your bonus to search or stealth or can succeed at lock picking or persuasion. Oh, that's really good. Uh, automatic succeed a wisdom or search check. Swap your hit point or spell slot total with a party member. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a lot of chaotic players would do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm liking that one. That's really nice. I have to see if they got any more of these challenge decks. I am gonna have to mix more up, which is a sad, sad situation. But I think it's gonna make for an entertaining campaign to get you guys involved. Commemorate, conceal, uh, the loss of a loved one, rescue or abandon a person in need. Okay. Falsify or procure evidence for a trial. Gather information using lies or allies. Okay. Safeguard or rescue a harmless beast. Prove or fight for the innocence of an NPC. Uh, 
Oh, that's okay. Make an alliance or pact with an enemy. Shelter or turn in a wanted criminal. That's pretty much doing anything good. So the rewards aren't groundbreaking. Alive total or spell slots are fully restored. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing for like a spellcaster. Just like burn through everything. Just go. Oh, I'll take on the spell slot. Spell slots back. Uh, ignore the effects of needing food or rest for one day. Wow. Swap strength for a party member NPC for one hour. <laughs> yeah, you would. Uh, you acquire a random magical item suitable to your level. Oh. Double your healing or spell roll result. Uh, you go for a magic item. Just says your level doesn't say it has to be uh it's suitable to your level it's not suitable to your class so you've got to be careful with that one because it will be a complete random roll uh ignore the effects of disorientation or charm for one day ignore the effects of heat or altitude for one day these are really really good the packs yes the packs are the same i think that's it right i need to go look on lawsmith and see if there's any more of these because I want more. So that's 25, 25. That's 50. So what did I say was in here? 50. It's 100 cards. So I've got uh, 100 cards of challenges, 100 cards of rewards, random rewards from these three which are generic well fumble searches wilderness voyage and curious treasures awesome i wasn't sure what was going on with those but I'm, i understand now they're brilliant that's a really good concept having a game these challenges are going to add something amazing to the whole role play element what the group's going to achieve what individuals are going to try and achieve in combat it works kind of like the uh death many things where some of the cards you have to achieve a certain goal by uh, either on your own but the rewards are less powerful but still able to give enough impact in the game Massive thumbs up to you here, Lord Smith. Huge, massive thumbs up. That's brilliant. I'm going to upload this video now. Tag your link in here so people can come look. I'm going to come find some more challenges from you because I want more. Because they're brilliant. <laughs> they're amazing. I'm actually really happy with these. That's the, They are fantastic. Okay. So that's that. We're wrapped up. Yes. What a way to go. Um, so yeah, I'll put the link below. Go check them out. I'll put my link in there for our Twitch channel. Please come along. Just hit the follow. Follow goes a long way. Uh, you're lurking in the chat, coming along, having the chat in the chat. Will be awesome. Uh, once the world sorts its life out and people stop being silly. Um, we hope to get some board game playthroughs going and some D&D, which will get you guys involved with these decks. Not sure how yet. Um, I'll figure something out because I want to. Brilliant. It's going to be a steep learning curve. I'm going to love every minute of it. This is one Kickstarter that I'm glad I really backed. Awesome, I'm smiling. <laughs> right, uh, take care everyone, I'll catch you next time. Uh, if you like this content, we've got loads of videos below, go look at them, hit that subscribe button, it goes a long way, it helps us out massively. Fantastic, if you want to shout out, let us know, let us know what games you're playing, because we might want to play them as well. 
Uh, and come see us on Facebook. Drop us a message. Share your gameplays. Tell us what you are actually playing. Show us what you're playing. We've got a lot to get through. So a little time. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you in the next video.